Hi everyone, I'm Alex aka LittleJerryFan92, and as you all know, I did post a little status update a couple weeks ago, um, that I would be posting a video explaining just, um, an honest update slash undecided future for my channel on why I haven't really been posting much content lately, um, before I get into any more details into that, um, I do want to say I obviously don't own the legal rights to Sesame Street. Um, that completely belongs to Sesame Workshop themselves and HBO. Um, I'm not entitled to uploading clips, nor do I feel entitled to uploading them. Um, this has just been a fun hobby of mine um, that I've done since I was 14 years old, all the way back in 2007 when I was in seventh grade. 16 years now. Wow, does time fly by. Um... So, obviously, outside of um, real-life obligations, um, the reason I really haven't been posting much content lately um, is because, obviously, as we all know, um, back in September 2019, I believe, um, YouTube was under a lot of fire for the fact that children were being exposed to content they shouldn't be watching, and that really did put them in a really big, deep hole. Um, so in response to that, YouTube basically forced the creators to now start identifying their videos as made for kids or not for kids. Um, you know, instead of just putting on their big boy pants and just owning up to the fact that, look, we messed up. Um, and initially, when this first came out in um, January 2020, I did have all my videos set as not for kids. Um... Because at the end of the day, like, obviously, yes, Sesame Street is a kid's show. It's forever been a kid's show, and it's marketed towards children. Um, but obviously, there are a lot of teenagers and adults who watched the show when they were kids, you know, from each passing year and decade that like coming to these videos and commenting on them. Um, and I do enjoy hearing from people saying that they love seeing me post these clips. Um... But towards the summer of 2021, I want to say, um, it did start to get to a point where YouTube was starting to selectively mark my videos, like auto-marketing, auto-marking them, excuse me, for kids. Um, and obviously in response, I can't do anything about that because once they auto-set it to kids, um, there's nothing I can do about it afterwards, um. So, it was, like, about few and far between when this was happening, but towards 2022, like, as the months progressed, um, it did start to get to a point where more and more videos of mine were marked as for kids, um, and then towards the end of 2022, um, it was just starting to get to the point where half of my videos were just completely marked as for kids, and now it's, like, if I try to even upload anything Sesame Street related... Um, regardless if I set my video as for kids or not, um, it'll automatically just be auto-set as for kids, like, the minute it's posted. And from what I've discovered with this, um, this basically happens with channels that are extremely popular and have a lot of subscribers and get a lot of, um, attention. So, other Sesame Street fan channels that may be a bit smaller in terms of views and subscribers, um... They don't get auto-targeted as much, and personally, it just really annoys the absolute hell out of me. And it's not even just on Sesame Street videos that I've been uploading, um, regardless of what sources they come from. Um, this has also been happening with um, my Nightcore videos, where I Nightcore Sesame Street songs. And the reason that happens is just solely because of the pictures I use, and that's honestly why I haven't even been uploading um much um, Nightcore Sesame Street videos anymore. I was initially taking a break from them for a while because I was uploading a lot of them last year and just kind of wore myself out. Um, but I mean, if YouTube's just going to start um, auto-targeting those as for kids, then it really just takes the fun of it away from it. And again, you know, outside of real-life obligations, that's why I haven't really been um, posting much, much Sesame Street content lately because it's just very frustrating with the fact that... Um, once I upload a video on YouTube, regardless if I set it as for kids or not, 
it's just going to be automatically says for kids because YouTube wants it to be that way. And truthfully, in general, this is also an issue I personally have with the way YouTube continually just shoots itself in the foot with, with um, each passing year. Um, the last CEO, Susan, excuse me, Susan, whatever her last name is, finally stepped down and I'm really happy about that. Um, but now we got a new guy in charge. I don't know what his name is. It's kind of hard to pronounce or remember. But they basically hired someone worse. Um, this guy apparently supports NFTs, which is very harmful for the environment. Um, so obviously that's really not a good look for YouTube. But, you know, this has just been their practicality that they've been doing to their website around since like 2010 or 2011, I want to say. And this also goes to an issue I do have with um, modern day parents. Um, this is a case where nowadays it just feels like parents um, just let their kids behave and get and do whatever, however, whatever they want. Um, and I'm also speaking to someone who was locked in his room or spanked whenever I misbehaved as a kid. But it seems like nowadays... Um, any form of discipline with children is just completely non-existent now. And I know this is probably going to make a lot of people angry, but I need to get this off my chest. I think babies and children are extremely, extremely overrated. Now, that being said, I don't personally wish any harm, physical or mental, towards babies or children. Obviously, we were all once both categories when we were kids. Um... But that being said, you know, the fact that this whole cop of bullshit exists on YouTube in the first place, um, it's just a case where these parents are just letting their kids um, do whatever they want on the internet, and they're not otherwise, like, being aware of, like, where they're going or what they're watching or what they're actually doing on there. I mean, I've seen kids literally in, in their single-digit years who have accounts on social media, and... That is not a good look at all, especially with um, internet creeps going around the internet. So, that being said, um, I know some people have expressed concerns that I may be deleting my account, and I'm just going to say no, that isn't the case. But that being said, um, with all this cop of bullshit just getting worse, like, each passing month and decade, um, not decade, year... Um, it really just has made me less um, motivated to continue uploading clips on YouTube. Um, because personally, I do enjoy hearing back from people who do enjoy seeing me post these clips. Now, obviously, yes, I have dealt with um, a fair share of entitled brats who just demand I upload, you know, whatever clip isn't publicly available yet. Um, and sure, it does get annoying, but that's where I just immediately block them because... Why should I ruin the fun for everyone else who's been very respectful when commenting on my videos and res respects my boundaries and limits? Um, that being said, there are a couple more individual clips I do want to share. Um, and there are some possible compilation videos of characters I would like to upload in the near, the near future. Um, and there are two evolution videos of Little Jerry and the Monotones and Little Chris and the Alpha Beats I do want to upload. Um... And there is also the um, top 10 Sesame Street favorite moments videos I did make back in um, 2019 and 2020, respectfully, um, which I haven't really updated in such a long time. I do want to continue the series just as of right now. Um, I don't really have a good voiceover booth to use, and I don't really feel like just using my phone to record them. Um, but it is a series I do hope to get back to in the near future, but we'll see. Um, but otherwise, I'm just considering fully retiring from, from uploading clips at this point. Um, pretty much when I have everything that I do personally want to upload that isn't otherwise um, already uploaded by someone else. So if you are watching this video and you were curious to hear about my update, um, I do want to say, th say thank you for tuning in. Um, and I do want to say thank you to everyone who has like been very respectful and shown su support of... Um, the clips I have uploaded on my channel. Again, I don't own the legal rights and I'm not entitled to uploading these clips. 
This has just been a fun hobby of mine since um, I was a teenager. But from the looks of things, um, once again, once I have everything I do want to upload on my channel, I may just permanently call quits. So that being said, I do want to thank everyone who watched this video. And I will see you all next time with whatever I upload next to my channel. I hope you all have a wonderful morning, afternoon, evening, whatever time you may be watching this video. And peace out.